I'm Mrs. Chinedu, married to Mr. Paul Chinedu, and I have four boys, I have four kids, four boys. I'm also from, uh, I'm from Imo State mainly, and I'm married to an Imo State man, and I have eight siblings, uh, three boys and three, uh, five girls in my family, yeah. So I've been very fine, easy with my two parents, but I later lost my mom in 2005, yeah. So since 2005, I've been with my dad and my siblings. Life has been so easy for me because in my family, we are a family of nine and I'm second to the last. I'm second to the last. I see the last girl in the house. So things have been easy for me until after my university level. Then I met my husband immediately after my degree exam. So I studied mass comm, GSC in mass communication. I schooled in Unizik, Namja UK University, Anambra State. Uh, immediately I came out of school, I met my husband. So I have been looking for work, looking for job. I didn't see any job. Then later I started having kids. So staying at home after my four kids, I said, no, I cannot stay. So I went to learn makeup. After makeup, then I have to open this salon business. Why I decided to do mass communication is because I knew I can do things, I can keep people company, I can make people laugh, you know, I can entertain people. That's why I decided to read mass comm, yeah. When I was in school, when I was in school, I have a mind of being a journalist, you understand? But you know Nigeria now, because of up, 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 ups and downs in Nigeria, so after school, I couldn't get any job. So, and after the children again, I started being at home. So, and I cannot continue. Even so many things, so many stress when I was looking for job. So after that, I just, I lost every hope of working and to be independent of myself, yeah. Okay, my effects and my background is that, at least my father trained me so well that in every situation, I can succeed. You understand? These things about this salon, really, I don't have it in mind. It's only those makeup things I, I do. But when I came into it for the first time, it was difficult for me. It wasn't easy for me because, you know, going into things that you don't know. But at the time, I started coping. At least I can make these wigs and other things. Yeah. Okay. When I started the business, really, you know, I don't really know things about the business. So when I started having difficulties in people that is working for me, you know, when they they saw that I don't know much about the business, so some work for one week, some work for one month, they will leave. So by then it was so hectic for me. But after one year, I started coping up. I learned some things from them that I'm doing. So those ones keep me busy, even when they are not there. Every day, before I come into this shop, it should be 11 or after 12 because I have to put things in order. I have to make food for my children. I have to do a lot of things, even the dinner. I get them prepared before coming to this shop because immediately I get home in the night, even if it's around seven or eight, I will start another job altogether. It wasn't easy for me. My two children now, they are in school. Two is not in school, they are home. Two is in school and immediately they are here and I'm going to lock up the shop and drive them home. So business and family. It's not easy for me, but I'm still, with the grace of God, I'm still coping with it. I wake up around 5 a.m. to dress the senior ones to school. After that, I have still have to drop the little ones. I still have to put some things in order, cook, make the house to be okay before I leave for my business. But still, I'm peaceful with it because those are the things I'm supposed to do. The children, they are growing, you know. At a time I know I will be up from the stress. Nature, the blood in us, there's no way I can sit at home from morning to night. Do you know those days that I'm at home? I will be, I will be looking at time. I will sleep and sleep and sleep, I will get tired. I will, is it not three? It's three o'clock, she will not, so that I will go and carry the children so that I will see people that will keep me busy. At a time, this is what I've been doing. I just decided, first of all, I, have, I started looking for work. But I see my friend told me that, she looking for work. 
with these four children is not going to be easy for me all. That I, I better sit down and think over and check what I'm going to do that will give me more time and peace to take care of my children. Because if I'm working now, it's not going to be easy for me. And then I, I sat down and I, I think over that. I decided to go and learn how to do all this makeup and other things and start all this business. My motivation every day, I have my plans for my daily routine. After taking my kids to school, I face my business. So, and every day I have a target in my business and God has been carrying me now because I can't do it on my own, carrying the family and business. So everything is God. I thank God. The impact the business is bringing in my, in the society now is, I know I make people happy. I have friends that I make to be fine during occasions and other things. And in the home also, is helping me also, you understand, in my house. Because I know I have things that I know I can do with money and I'm doing them. You understand, when there is nothing, I provide a little for the family. Anything I want, I do a little for myself. So it's good for a woman to have something doing than sitting at home and waiting for your husband. I'm very happy for the business. I'm very happy. It has motivated me a lot. Knowing people, you know, you know in everything in life, you, you can't please all. You understand? Mm -hmm. But I know those that have voted in me are more than those that, ah, what is she doing? This, that. You know, in everything, they are positive and you have negative. So I just thank God for the positive people around me. Because if I tell you that I can please all, I can't please all because I'm not God. But the little ones, I'm thankful to God. Like this business, I started in September. So, you know, October, November, December. So it was season for the, for women, you know, x miles and other things. So one, I don't know how to do this closure hair. So I said, I'm going to, I'm going to hold you boo by the horn. So the woman came that day. I said, this closure, I must fix this hair. So it wasn't easy for me, you know? So for the first time, I just want to. This year, I, I, I must fix it. At a time, the woman started being angry. Ah, madam, are you learning work with my hair? I said, no. So the woman started, you know, she was very furious. She was angry. Then I called my girl. Patience, please come and help me. There was so many ups and downs in this business when I started, but I just thank God for everything. I just thank God. I can't even start naming them. But naturally, for the, for if you, if you are still an expert, there are some people that, if you, even if you are an expert, in everything in life, you can't please all. The hair they make to you now, if they do it for another person, you, maybe you'll be thankful and happy that ah, the hair is fine. But another person will say, ah, madam, what kind of shiva is this? You understand? Like this one I'm wearing, I'm the one that made it. But you do it for another people. They will not be happy. They say, Madam, what kind of way is this, this, that? So, individual differences in the business, but in everything, we thank God. And you know, we men, we men, we are very, very hard to control. It's not easy. At times, I will sit, I will be watching, you know? Women, it's not easy to control women. It's not easy, but in everything, we thank God. At times, I say, ah, is it me that will be coming to face all this crisis of women? You know, the crisis in women, they are much better. I still thank God. Since it's going to three years now, I'm into this business. I've never had any problem. People have not gathered for me with my customers. So I thank God. If I remember my family, I know where I'm coming from. So when they come up with those, their problems, I just sit down and watch them. After every drama, everybody will go. But I thank God since I opened this shop, they have not gathered for me and any of my workers here. I thank God, but because to carry all along with women is not easy. But I thank some women hate you. They have an evil plan to come. They want to come and make trouble with you. They will just come. And then it's like this thing, they will fill you up. But in everything, I thank God. I'm achieving why I opened the shop. That is my only happiness. My aim is being achieved. 
You understand? Then that is my daily happiness. <laughs> Some people, maybe they say, when they are in school, they say they want to be a banker. When they are in school, they say they want to be a lawyer. You know? There are times when you are out from school, you see that things are not working the way you planned it. You have to readjust. But some people, they will never readjust. They want to work. They want to be dressing in the morning to go out. They want people to be seeing them. Even when they don't have anywhere working, what they know is that they dress in the morning. They started going from one place to another to search for work. And time waits for nobody. You understand? So at times you readjust. You can't say because you want to be an accountant, you want to be a banker, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be this and that. And when things are not going the way you wanted it, you're still there, you'll be stagnant, you'll be there. So because for me, I know I, made, I, I, I readjusted myself. It's not that I cannot look for work and get. It's not that I don't have the face to get the work. It's not that I can't go to Abuja to seek for work. But I just see at times the, your plans might not be what God plans for you. You understand? But you know, if you have the spirit of God in you, God will direct you. He guide you and direct you. Yeah. I believe in my own is the wish of God. I just when I started this business, it wasn't easy for me and my husband. <laughs> uh, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. I left the children immediately at six o'clock. You calling me? Have you gone home? And you left the children at home. At times I'll be seeing customers till eight o'clock. Ah, are you still at home? Are you still in the shop? What are you? It wasn't easy for me, but I thank God. All those things. When I started this business, the first one year, it wasn't easy for me. Go to home and the business. I say, God, is it? Should I close this shop? That is always what I ask myself. If I lie down on the bed, I'll say, God, is it that I will close this shop? I will not rest towards my husband's side. The people that are working, they work today, they will go. Because even I don't have the intention of staying in the business because of the things the workers are doing i have to put my mind because it's me that invested money on the business it's me that will know how the business will carry on some women have opened business of billions but they can't stand the business they will run it for like one year two years they will close up the business but i know my own i can't close my own because i'm not used to the stress of the business i can carry it an African woman is, is, is nature, is a natural call. It's there for us. You understand? An African woman we used to struggle. You see some, they will carry their crayfish on their head, they will bag their baby. So it's just like that. It was there before we came to the world. So it's like that. God has given us that strength and that hope and that mind to carry on with the stress. Some are there too, they are not facing this stress. You know, the life, these fingers is five, they are not equal. So, but in any situation, you find your own, you carry it along. It's only God that can give, that can give that, that can give life with those stress. You know, some people are not stressful, but they, today they are no more. They don't face any stress, they, they are no more. While the people that are facing stress day by day, they are the ones living longer until they say they want to retire from the stress. So, in any situation you find yourself, God is there to carry me along. That's what I know. If God can carry me going to three months for this, three years for this business, I know it's still there for some other people. At least, Ngozo Konji, well, at least, I can, I can see of at least she's the first lady in this, in the whole world wide. You know, when, maybe when you start looking at the background now, she never, she, she don't know that she will find herself. But it's from step by step, step by step. Now she have gotten there. As I'm doing all those things, my children are still watching over me. Like the last month, I bought a car. My children say, "My mommy car, my mommy car," because my sister has that kind of car also. So immediately this car arrived, they know that it's their mommy's jeep. So they are very happy. They know that this shop that I do come out every day is not in vain. Like me, my mom. She never stays in one place. And I know me rest now, you can't stay at home. You will come back from the farm, you prepare to go to the market. You know, all those things we used to tell my mom. Now, nah, at times, we be, this is my sister, we struggle, struggle, struggle. Ah, we cannot rest. Those things are knowledge, it's foundation. But then we are telling my mom, mommy, you don't rest. 
Every time you struggle, you go to market, you go to this, you go to that. All those things that impact your parents, your mother, those things they are doing, you people are watching. When you have a lazy mother, all of you will turn to be lazy. When you have a mother that maybe he sits at home, he makes call, send dollar for me from America, do that. When you people are growing, you still live the same life. But when you grow up with your parents that they struggle to make things, when you grow, that blood is still there. The foundation, it can never cut, it can never end. On this episode, Afri Woman meets Florence Ndlovo, owner of Rebels Pizza Outlet at Middle Cell Mall in Pretoria, CBD, South Africa. The inspirational and trailblazing entrepreneur is proof that hard work really does pay off. She had always wanted to own a pizza franchise. Over the years, she managed to save up enough money to make her dreams come true. Eventually, Flo had saved up to 100 rands. She resigned from her job, put down a deposit on her first Rebels Pizza outlet in Middlestead Mall and negotiated a payment plan. And Lava's business now attracts hundreds of customers every week and continues to create jobs for many young people. Her plans are to ultimately run a chain of Rebel Pizza stores and contribute meaningfully to the society. I do things that I want to do and I don't believe in crowd, I don't believe in friends. You only see me run from my home with my car. Some people don't even know that I can talk to people. But I don't, I greet people, you understand? But only see me with my car, I park here, I enter my shop or when I'm going with my children. So why I can be able to overcome them and the things they say and their humiliation is because I was trained to be on my own from my father's house. If you're somebody that goes in group, there are things you want to carry on. The same majority carry the vote. You as a person, you might decide to do one or two things, but because of two or three people have said something, they'll be bringing your spirit down. But because I'm a kind of person that whatever I want to do, I go for it. I can't share my view with any. Like this, my business, I started it from my home, where we are living, in my house. It's not up to some month, a month I got this place. So last, uh, last week, Facebook said, ah, your memory for three years ago, they just brought the shop out for me. I started laughing. Your memory three years ago, it was on June. I started that, that place, I carry, I started it on before, July, I got this place and started working on it. So I'm just happy. I'm so motivated. I'm so happy. So I cannot be begging. Because I know I'm somebody that can make, bring one or two things and join together to make something. Even before I, before I started getting married, I've been doing business. I've been going to Dubai. Even when I met, when I married, I had two kids. It wasn't easy for me to take him again. I started traveling, buying clothes, selling mobile. I went to India, Dubai, Sri Lanka. I was running my business before we relocated to Agor. So, you know, relocating to a new place, everything scattered my, my plants, you know, dollar, everything scattered. So there's no way the spirit of traveling out the country, that one just got over. But I'm still trying because I know that is always my dream. I, I used to lock because we stay in a whole compound. So if I'm going out, I lock my children. They say, ah, you lock them inside. Even my husband say, ah, how can you lock the children? My sister, this is my business, eh? It's only God. Whatever you want to do, be in life, pursue it. If I, if I should tell you the disadvantages in this business when I started it, one of my neighbors came and said, ah, my husband, after all the projects you have, you still bought Jeep. My husband said, say, no, it's me that bought the Jeep. The man said, ah. The man said, just, you say, your wife. My husband said, yes, she's the one that bought the Jeep. Because those days it was, ah, they would be remembered, ah, she will love the children. She will go out. She will do that. 
that I know, I know my goals, I know what I want to achieve. But I thank God, even as I bought the car, I did not call it anything. I just packed the car, but that is my dream. That's what I want to do. I want to do something with my money so that they will see that I, it's not that I don't have other things to do with my money, but I just start with that car. I did not even tell my husband I'm ordering a car from US. It's after everything, after the payment and everything. When the car was shifting inside the ship, I told him that I'm expecting a car from America. My husband was shocked. When the car came, I made sure that I did everything. I cleared the car by myself. I don't even want him to assist. It's only now when I just brought down the car, maybe other necessary things to fix in the car, he's doing it. But I just want the car, it's my sweat. I just want to tell him, all those stress giving me problems, where are you? He will know I'm in the shop or he start to give me problems. Am I dancing here? Am I, am I playing? Am I drinking beer? Is this business a business that is flex more than distress? The there are some business you do know that flexing is more than distress, but this one, distress is more than this flex. But in everything, I thank God. What I would just advise, wherever, achieve, try to achieve your goal. But some people are in this life, they don't even know, they don't have branches, they don't know where to start, they are just like that. If you like, push their head into somewhere, they cannot still stand. So everything somebody does in life is destiny. You understand? It's destiny because this is my business. I don't even know where I started. And I still have intention of... I'm just targeting along the road. I, that one self, I, I will not even be there. I will just open it. It's my millions. I will open it. If you are ready to pay the bills, come and start working. Like I always say also, I'm a simple person. You understand? You know some people, their ego is too high with their goals. Yeah, they, you know... They, their demands are higher than what they can produce for themselves. So, if you are in that kind of line that you wear shoes of 50,000 slippers, like some of my friends that come in, they ask, JSB, I bought these slippers 25,000. Say, eh, just slippers 25,000. And this person have not gone to Monetola Mohabed Airport. Everybody has things that she wants to achieve in life. Some people feel that their money is for fashion. You understand? You buy, you, you used to buy slippers of 25,000, but you don't know how much Emirates Airlines is, is charging from here to Dubai. You understand? That when you keep those money, you can use it and make something good. So for me, where I can be able to be here I am is because I'm a simple person. I believe in using my money to achieve good things than you put it on fashion that tomorrow it will just wave away. So if if women can have the kind of IQ that I have, bringing, you collect from your husband, you add to your own, you know, to make her things working well. Like one of my customers came here, she was, she's a banker. So she was crying that Sunday. She said, I, got, she, I said, what is that? You're making calls and you're calling me. Then she's going to stop work. The husband says she should stop work by December. So she's trying to run. I can say, ah, what is that? She started telling me, narrating her stories for me. I can say, ah, you are working and your husband gives you 2,000 naira every day. You are the one that, you are the one that you just rubbish your work now. Everything in life is packaging. How can you be working and your husband will be giving you transport money and feeding money? What then are you doing with the money they are paying you where you are working. I started advising her, you are the one that rubbishes yourself. When you are going, no matter you can collect the money, for, even when you, at times, even when you don't have, you behave as if you have. So that you have, your husband will know that this work you are doing, you are achieving something from it. 